Hi guys, uh, welcome to another video and uh, today uh, we'll uh, probably uh, see how it goes with the company maybe make uh, a new model uh, uh, but no, now I will do uh, a fast recap of uh, the of what happened in the footage that got uh, lost in the last video uh, so I started doing uh, this So it's uh, the base version of the Masato Mini, and uh, yeah, so uh, it has 37 horsepower. Uh, it drives to 400, uh, or I guess you already know that. Uh, but yeah, this is how it turned out. Uh, it's uh, un it's underpowered, but otherwise good. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it, but uh, let's just save and look at the other ones. Uh, view current. And uh, so then I made this. So this is the mini sedan. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Then I made... Uh, this is the budget-oriented version. Uh, but I also made a standard version. But the only difference with those is... Uh, is that uh, they have a little different grill. Uh, otherwise there is no difference. And after that... Uh, we put them into production uh, and uh, looked a bit at research and development and uh, the, it se still seemed to go uh, pretty well uh, and we lost uh, for some reason uh, the yeah, uh, the Ushi pickup just disappeared I guess it sold uh, too, too bad uh, so we only got uh, two models again, so we'll have to make another model, maybe a bi either a bit bigger or a bit smaller car. Uh, but when I looked here at research and development, and as you can see, in 75 we get the turbocharger. Uh, yeah, but it seemed like. Since we have a lot of development put into uh, the turbo, it seems like we are gonna get that uh, early. So that's good. And so we may get no, no we may get that uh, in uh, a year or two, maybe. Uh, so then uh, we will be able to make K cars. Uh, and we looked a bit at bodies that we could do something with then uh, I really wanna do something with uh, where is it this is it yeah I wanna make something with uh, that one yeah this one maybe we'll do something with that one but probably not uh, but I really wanna do something with this one and we could make uh, s uh, this could be the replacement for the mini. Uh, maybe we'll have to replace it before that. Uh, but then, at the minute, it should probably we should probably be able to keep it if uh, we actually facelift it a bit until 1980. Even though, yeah, that's pretty late, but I don't know. Uh, we could use this otherwise if uh, we can't wait that long so that should be good uh, I really want to make something with this uh, Suzuki, Suzuki Vitara uh, body uh, because I think that would be fun 
and uh, then if we have to replace this old already we got uh, this body scene in 1984 so we could do something with that is it called uh, on the on the cv or something that looks a bit like this we could make something like that and we could make something with uh, this van since we only got the uh, 1.9 meter wheelbase that should be really small and that's good uh, or we can make a really big van and then uh, when we need to replace uh, that we could use that and stuff but that's about uh, how far I went with that and we could use this van uh, but yeah and we get a lot of cool stuff here too uh, yeah, that's what I talked about in the last video, where I couldn't see. Uh, but yeah, as you see, it's 33 million on the Ushi and 35 million on the Mini. That's a lot of money. Uh, and we'll look a bit until, uh, yeah, maybe in 72 or uh, 73 or something, we'll do something. And uh, But we should... Uh, yeah, we should, uh, yeah, in, in a year or two, we'll, we will uh, try to facelift the Ushi because it looks pretty older now. So, uh, the Ushi still sells great, but uh, not as great as I would like to. And uh, for some reason the HS and the CB uh, sell, uh, don't sell uh, that great, uh, especially the HS, so we might have to, uh, but I mean it's, it's still selling some. Uh, new bodies, yeah that's really big, I don't think we'll do anything with those, uh, but I will make a uh, an uh, what's the name facelift for the Ushi. I think that's the no, that's the pickup there. Uh, so we hopefully it will sell better again. Uh, facelift. There we go. Uh, I don't think we're making a new model though. I think we should just be making like a new face or something. But otherwise it's the exactly the same car. Hopefully I don't really know how this works since I've uh, basically never tried it before. Uh, potential fun. Yeah, here we go, and now we can change stuff. Uh, I think we'll update the interior a bit. And... Uh, just cl maybe clean it up a bit all around. Uh, like, this doesn't look too good. And uh, the fascia looks like it's uh, from the 50s still. When it's the early 70s now. So, I think... I don't know how we'll do It looks really old But I don't know what we're gonna, going to change The grill probably has something to do with it uh, So let's give it a new grill I guess And I'll time lapse this and I'll be back uh, in a minute or Probably an hour for me, uh, but about, uh, uh, yeah, half a minute to a minute for you. So I think this is uh, bugged or something, because for some reason it won't let us change stuff. We can change the wheels, but for some reason we can't really change anything else. 
but I guess we will give it some new wheels and uh, change uh, the engine out for uh, the new one that we made. Uh, so let's look for something a bit more 70s. Because I mean it still sells pretty well. So I think with uh, just a new engine uh, it should uh, sell good again. Uh, or should it sell better? I should say because yeah it already sells good. Uh, maybe those. And we'll change the colors a bit. Uh, because as you saw in the time that I couldn't uh, change any of this, even if you see I do this, I can't uh, take anything to change it. Yeah, I, I can delete stuff here, uh, maybe I can, no, look I can, yeah, I don't know why that happens, that's weird. Uh, but uh, I mean at least I can uh, change the color of the body and stuff like that. So I guess that's at least good. Uh, but let's look uh, how it does. Green maybe? Don't feel now that uh, should be on this car. Okay. It's darker now. It's, now it just looks like some military kind of car. Uh, Purple, dark blue. We ha already had had before. Uh, let's do. I uh, know. Uh, uh, make it brown or something like that. Maybe that could look fine. Yes. Uh, yeah, that looks kind of like a. Uh, old van you will see. Uh, I think brown was pretty big in the 70s also. So that's at least my image for the 70s. A lot of uh, brown cars and stuff. So let's make it brown because that looks fine. Uh, primary or secondary car. I don't think we'll make it too long but maybe. No, we will not do that. Ah. There. And let's uh, change the color of the wheels. That will change. Uh, should we have wheels that match the body or no? No, that looks stupid. I don't think we should have a gloss of it because uh, that looks uh, weird. Let's do that, not that gloss of wheels. Yeah, be a bit lighter, dark. No. Maybe that's good. I don't know. Uh, that and uh, we'll make those and we'll like that. That also, yeah. yeah. That looks pretty good. Uh, let's do that then. Uh, I guess it maybe looks a bit more modern now. Uh, it doesn't look as good, but I guess it looks uh, a bit. Yeah, yeah. I guess it at least looks a bit more modern. So let's change out the engine, existing engine, and let's use the compact standard, I think. Select variant. Or we could make uh, just a trim with that, actually. Yeah, now it. I think that's a lot better. Let's look how many horsepower did uh, this, this car have. Uh, 32. Yeah, that's a lot better. Uh, I think we should, we could probably, maybe we st still use these, even though they are th that under much underpowered. 
Uh, but it should be good. It's gonna be a bit heavier, it looks like. Uh, it weighs. That weighs a lot more than that. Ah, that's weird. Yeah, but from 32.9 horsepower to 37, that should be better. But uh, like I said before, we'll make that just another trim. Uh, because I think it will uh, be good to have uh, at least a couple different trims. And we'll. This looks a lot better. Let's make 11,000. Let's make it a bit cheaper so we sell well. And let's make this the cheap one at around 8,000, I think. Uh, now let's make it this one 7,000 and the better engine 8,000. And let's just put a different engine in it and. We could change the badge. We could, we, we could probably change the badging a bit. And uh, there. Because, uh, like I said before, uh, I can't edit that. But if I. Here we go. Can. No, because push 1.2. Yes, I can. That's good. Uh, and let's uh, make the logo up to date because I changed the text or the font of the text. Uh, that and no, I cannot change that. But that case will probably have to be the, it for this video. I am sorry that we didn't do a lot in this video except uh, yeah, just uh, looking and uh, facelifting some models. But uh, I hope you guys still have enjoyed the video maybe. And I guess I'll ca catch you next time. Bye.